Hi guys, welcome back to the channel uh, for today's double upload. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys what I usually do uh, when I get my rewards. Uh, how do I invest my coins in order to make some more during marquee matchups? Now, um, I just want to speak about this quickly before I start. Um, this does work three times out of four. So hopefully uh, you guys understand that. So I wouldn't uh, advise you guys to do it maybe this week. Maybe have a look how it works before uh, you do get into it. But I usually do that. It works three times out of four. So here we go. Uh, I just go on the transfer market. Um, I go on the Premier League filter. Uh, put it up to center backs. Make sure you have it on gold. And make sure you do not exceed 500 coins. And you're going to see uh, quite some center backs here. Uh, which at the moment looks like it is pretty dry. So here we go. We got one. Now usually you do see hundreds of them. Uh, I have no idea why today it's a bit slower. Uh, now ignore those rare ones. Those are just dupes from my rewards, which I'm keeping uh, in order to do um, Player picks so we're gonna bring that up to 600 and see okay, so here we go up I'm gonna go up to 600 today because I do feel like a lot of people are on the 500 filter So I'm gonna take that risk So I'm gonna try and pick up the most I can um, even if you do go unassigned, it's not that much of an issue because uh, you do have marquee matchups tomorrow, so it's not like you have to hold them over the weekend. So here we go, we are getting at least a few. Now when the game first came out, um, you could you could snipe uh, even two, three hundreds of them. Uh, I do think a lot of people over the course of time they do know about this now uh, It's not like how it used to be at the beginning of the game of the game cycle I, I am trying to get the most I can here, but it is quite difficult um, At the moment we can see uh, Due to maybe league SBCs as well and stuff like that. It is getting way more difficult to snipe them so I do see there's a lot of people on the Prem. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to head over to League A. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Now we can see with League A, uh, it's way more different. Uh, there's a ton of players being listed and that's a mistake. It's not a bit, it's by now. Uh, I am going to try and grab the most uh, French ones that I can get and the Portuguese, the ones with better links. Uh, because I do have the choice, but either way, if you don't, uh, that's not an issue either. They usually tend to rise. So just to give you guys an example, I'm going to pick up a few here. Um, once I'm done uh, with Ligue 1, I'm going to head over to Serie A, which is the most difficult one. Usually it has always been. Uh, Serie A center backs just go for a ton, usually uh, due to Ligue SBCs and it's way more difficult, but it's not impossible. You guys can see it right here. We are at least getting a few. Can I grab the Argentinian one? Nope, I can't. So I am getting a few. Um, then we head over to La Liga, which usually, uh, when it is required in the marquee matchups, is usually uh, amongst the one that uh, rise the most but let's go to Bundesliga first I forgot about the Bundesliga right so um, there's this guy whom I want to pick up there's Alvedi which I want to pick up uh, I'm gonna pick up a few more so you guys can see as an example uh, the Prem is the most difficult to pick up uh, center backs from uh, back then it used to be way easier but at the moment, you guys can see there were uh, hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, trying to snipe those center backs from the Prem. Um, which is okay, because either way, marquee matchups, they do have Prem teams, they have uh, Bundesliga teams, it's always mixed up, right? So, um, 
it is more profitable with the prem but once again with all those people investing at the moment it may not be the best thing to do so i'm just gonna filter that once more so here we go you want to go to uh, towards the end because you have a better chance at uh, at getting them so i'm gonna try and get the most i can here And you guys can see we're not the only ones. It does look like a lot of people uh, now know about this filter. Uh, it used to be very good when the game first came out and people were less prepared for marquee matchups. Now that more people are prepared, it is kind of uh, difficult making profit, but it is still very much possible. So you guys get the example of what I'm trying to do here, grabbing center backs from different uh, top five leagues and um, usually I do take uh, a small risk by uh, grabbing a few Eredivisie ones as well. Uh, they're very difficult at the moment, but uh, usually I do grab a few. And when they are in the marquee matchups, those cards explode all the way up to 3k. So um, this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys. Just make sure as soon as the marquee matchups are released, you do list those cards up. Uh, give it maybe 10 to 15 minutes for those cards to really uh, pick up in value and uh, After that do make sure you sell them within one hour uh, You have to make sure 10 to 15 minutes later. I start usually listing my cards So this is what I wanted to share with you guys and good luck and do let me know in the comments down below if you guys did make profit so um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye